average height of 25 children is 140 centimeter. If five new children join the class, then the average height becomes 145 centimeter. What is the average height of the five new children? So there are 25 children, right? 1, 2, 3, so on up to 24, 25 children. The average of these guys is 140. Let's say they've got 140 rupees average, which means each person has got 140 rupees. 140, 140, 140, so on up to 25 times. Five new children join the class. C1, C2, C3, C4, and C5. And because of which the average height becomes 145, which means now the average for all these guys become 145. How do you solve it? No need of any formula. Simple. You know that average is an equal distribution. According to that concept, when I say average of all these people is 145, each one of these guys has got 145 rupees. No doubt about it. Yes or no? According to overall average. But then also understand that because of these five guys, the average for all these 125 people who were there in the group initially has increased by 5. Plus 5 plus 5. How many times? 25 times. You understand? Every person here out of these first 25 persons had 140 rupees initially. Now they have got 145 rupees each. So which means each person's amount has increased by 5 rupees, right? He had 140 rupees, person number 1, he is now 145. Person number 2 had 140, he now has 145. Person number 3 had 140, he now has 145. And so on till 25th person. So each person's amount has increased by 5 rupees. So what is the total increment? 5 into 25. 5 into 25, 125. Where did this 125 rupees come from? This 125 rupees came from these 5 people. So divide this 125 equally among 5 people. 125 by 5 is how much? 25 rupees. So they already have 145 each. But actually we should add 25 to each of their sums. That's why the overall average is increased. So now if you see for only these 5 guys, that's what he's asking, right? What is the average of the 5 new children? For these 5 guys, 145, 145, 145, 145, 145, plus 25, 25, 25, 25, 25. So each person has what? 145 plus 25, 170. That's your answer. 170 is your answer. And believe me, guys, if you have understood this concept, if you are thorough with the concept, you need not put pen on paper. You can crack the answer to this question in about 5 to 6 seconds without having to put pen on paper.